How do we understand this president and his time in office? Do we look at the day's headlines, or do we remember what we, as a country, have been through? The president-elect is here in Chicago, and he's named the members of the economic team, and they all fly in for the first big briefing on the economy. What was described in that meeting was an economic crisis beyond anything anybody had imagined. In our time of standing pat, of protecting narrow interests and putting off unpleasant decisions, that time has surely passed. His advisors would ask where to begin. Which urgent need would he put first? Which is one, which is two, which is three, which is four, which is five? Where do you start? If we don't do this now, it will be a generation before 30 million people have health insurance. If the auto industry goes down, what happens to America's manufacturing base? What happens to jobs in America? What happens to the whole Midwest? The entire national security apparatus was in that room. And now we had to make a decision, go or not go. As he walked out the room, it started to dawn on me, he's all alone. This is his decision, and nobody is standing there with him. 